Hi everyone, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for May 16th through May 22nd, 2016. I'm going to be using three different decks. I felt guided to use the Archangel deck by Doreen Virtue and the Magical Times and also the Psychic Tarot for the Heart. I have a fluorite here to purify the the air and also help with anxiety. I have clear quartz to receive clear messages from our angels and guides and divine and I also have a piece of shungite to help with the electronics. I call in my guides and your guides and all beings alike to help me with this reading and that everyone watching this gets a clear and accurate message for them. I'm going to go ahead and pick one card from the angels and see what the energies are going to be like this week. Now I'm going to pick two cards from the Magical Times. And then one more card from the Psychic Tarot for the Heart. Okay, the first card that we have is Clear Your Space, Archangel Jophiel. Get rid of clutter, clear the energy around you, and use feng shui. So what they're telling us at the beginning of the week is that we really need to have all distractions out of the way. You don't want to have clutter and you're thinking about what you got to clean when you're trying to get your priorities done. And this might be one of the top priorities this week is clutter clearing out. They also want you to use crystals and different techniques to move around the energy in your home if you feel like anything's stagnant in your life, whether it be uh, abundance, prosperity, relationships, uh, job opportunities, or just your spiritual awareness. They really want to open all the possibilities for you, but they want you to do your job in keeping your space as peaceful and as clear of clutter as possible. Journey. Focus on how far you've come, not how far you have to go. You will find help in unexpected places. So this week they're really just wanting us to, you know, be prepared for random help. Be prepared for exciting news. Live in the moment and don't worry about how far you have to go like the card says. And just really have that faith in yourself and focus on love this week. And that in itself will take you on a journey that you need by focusing on love. I feel like a lot of us, we get so wrapped up in anxiety and what we have to do. And we forget to take that time out to meditate pray. It could be anything. Reading a book we want to read, working working with uh, people we love, you know, coming up with creative projects, anything. Whatever takes your heart on a journey of inspiration and love, that's what you need this week. Kindness. Live with compassion. Open your heart to all life forms, be an angel with hands. So they're really wanting us to tap into patience, tap into our, our inner strength, our courage, and just be kind to ourselves. Again, focusing on love, focusing on self-care, and really just doing what makes you feel inspired it makes you 
feel like you can be more kind. If you're too stressed out, it could cause you to have outbursts of uh, anger or rage or bitterness when really you just need that break and that will usually clear out all that negative emotions or emotions that need to be dealt with in a more productive way. Uh, so just clearing out your space, your mind, your body, your soul, and really focusing on love and kindness to yourself. Reaching out. Okay, so it says reach out, but I, but I felt like I needed to say reaching out because I feel like we need to spend some time in reaching out to our guides and our angels and how they're also reaching out to us. So we have to meet them halfway. And also this could be with other people that you know. It's good to help others, but sometimes we need to help ourselves first. And this is what this week is about, is really seeing where we can kind of change our perspective in a more helpful way and kind of narrowing down and pinpoint what is giving us that, <clears throat> I'm trying to find the right words, pinpoint what is like just not productive and taking time out to make things around you a more clear and more peaceful atmosphere so you can get things done so you won't be distracted so you can extend that kindness out to others and yourself and really just go on a journey in the present and just you know don't worry so much this week it looks like this week is going to be very spiritual but also very grounded because you're going to start focusing on what needs to be done you're not making excuses this week you're getting it done and you're very happy about it so i do hope this makes sense if you guys have any comments or questions leave them down below and again i will leave my links and everything in the description box until my next reading many blessings